Hey what's going on ladies and gents welcome back to another Genshin Impact video I'm your friendly neighborhood content creator and let's get straight into the video as you guys can see I have Beto on your screen right now I have built Beto hopefully I have done her justice because I'm not very familiar with how she is supposed to be built here I am trying to show you guys how she's built and why she is actually pretty powerful and one of the one of the strongest sub DPS you know in the game um obviously beto is electro and currently she's 80 out of 90 she has a 1400 attack and a lot of hp with max of oh, 20,000 almost um she has a decent amount of defense but it doesn't really matter her stats look like 58.1 with 174.4 percent critical damage obviously this is a lot in comparison to the crit rate and it would be nice if i can balance them out but i can't really do that currently i have a bit of energy recharge as you guys can see and electro damage bonus but i am currently running a four piece of the emblem of severed faith that so i technically do want way more energy recharge but you know what it'll be fine for now i don't really have an energy recharge sands to put on her so this will have to do currently these are the stats of all of my pieces looking pretty schnet i'm running the serpent spine on her as you guys can see i'm pretty sure this will be really really big especially for a character like beidou um it is only 80 out of 80 which is not what you want you want this to be 90 but i think it's fine for right now it will do it just as well obviously it's going to give me a little bit more crit rate so if i do get it up there it would be pretty nice all right so the constellations she is actually c6 that is why i've decided to actually build her she is c6 and one of the most amazing things about beto is that you can actually get a shield on her and the ultimate is extremely 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 buffed with this second constellation here as the arc lightning can jump two additional targets which is amazing um obviously we have more talents and this is not really that important unless she's the main dps of the team she's not um here we go the c6 allows stormbreaker to shred 15 percent of your opponent's electro resistance this is massive and that's why <laughs> beto is going to absolute slap or at least i hope she will in today's uh today's video all right so if we go to her talents here we're gonna talk about all of her talents here um this is probably one of the most unique skills in the current game the only other character that has this would be yun jin but beto's is a little bit different than yun jin's obviously however um it's still as great or you know just pretty much greater elemental skill actually scales off of her hp for her shield so the shield damage absorption that you get from just holding E, you're going to get 23% of your max HP, which is not bad at all. The base damage, if you just press E, you're going to get 195% on level 8. Or if you hold it and you get the maximum damage bonus, which is getting hit twice, or do a perfect counter, you get 256% damage. I wanted to leave this at level 10 because some of you guys might actually just want to crown her and you don't have that many constellations on her i wanted to leave it at level 10 so you can see a more relatable type of build obviously the skill damage itself just pressing q you're going to do 290 percent and then the lightning damage that it jumps around whatever does 173 percent and it jumps around a lot especially at constellation 2 you get a damage reduction as well for using your ultimate and it lasts for 15 seconds the energy cost is 80 so it is pretty heavy however it's not that bad uh this is the perfect counter thing so if you press your elemental skill as soon as you get hit you're going to do a perfect counter if you let go of your elemental skill button and it's pretty good pretty powerful there now this is if you have a dps beto this is if you you know this is if you leveled up your normal attacks which i personally have not as this will increase your attack speed as well as attack damage we are currently running the tartaglia with official with beto with bennett comp here and hopefully we can do well obviously tartaglia is not built on this account so don't expect tartaglia to hit hard but i kind of just want to showcase beto here all right i wanted to try her out in this domain here because for some reason i i, I, I like going to this domain that's our characters but yeah let's just try her out here um we do have official so her energy recharge should be up pretty decently most of the time here obviously with her e skill doing twenty five thousand there um not too shabby and here we go we're just, we're just gonna do all the necessary steps here to see how much damage she is going to do as you guys can see here she's doing 5k damage i think i see 5k which is pretty pretty strong <laughs> and i have my ultimate back but obviously it's because this domain 
does have a lot of opponents in it. All right, here we have it. Let's do this again. Let's actually put the official down here. Do that. Jump. Do that. Um. All right, we countered. And bang. All right, so we should have a snapshot going on. Um. Is that 13,000? Is that Beto that's doing that? I'm seeing 13,000. What? Wait, with the Beto crit, it does 13,000? That's... As you guys it's not Oz. Oz does 4,100. Alright, here we go again. So, we do this. We do 6,000 with Oz right there. And he keeps doing for 4,500 on those normal individuals. Now, we do the ultimate. We have Beto out. We use her elemental skill. And then we sort of... It does 12,000! I did not expect it to hit that hard. Okay, without the snapshotted Bennett buff. No, it's still the, that did 14. What? I don't. I. I'm at a loss for words. That does so much damage. All right, here we go. Wanted to try out Beido in the Spiral Abyss, and I'm pretty sure this will be a decent showcase of what she can do. All right, we need to have her out actually for a few seconds here in order to really get her damage going. All right, here we go. Do a little bit of this. And then boom. Do a little bit of that. Okay, obviously we can't hit him with that, but... Look at that. Look at the damage. He's doing it... Oh, okay, well, he's, he's, he's pretty dead. But look at that. He's doing it around 9,000 a hit. With the crits, obviously. That the crits was, was like... 3,000 or something. Still kind of good. Or a 1,000. Yeah, a 1,000 still. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so, it's so unusually good. Why is it this good? It's so powerful. It's just the first hit obviously is going to do the most amount of damage. And then the rest, the, you know, the arc lighting starts jumping around, does less damage. But it still hits like a truck. I think 12,000. It's so strong. It's so strong. I think that's enough Spiral Abyss for this segment. All right, that was that was Beto. You know, Beto is actually super strong. She's unusually strong. I did not expect this. I thought she was going to be pretty powerful, but not as powerful as I've seen her in the Spiral Abyss currently. And she can be stronger, obviously, but because of the buffs I'm getting, um, it's kind of unfair because this is R4 right now, which means it's uh, it's slightly unfair. But you could get similar damage numbers with maybe a five-star weapon or maybe with a fully refined luxurious sea lord it could also deal as much damage so i don't know it's it, she's really incredible i highly suggest you guys actually build her she's super powerful and i'm gonna use her more for as I've, as you guys have seen so yes uh thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video subscribe to the channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video very soon